it's very beautiful. That's probably enough for the thank yous. We can just eat the cake now. Not so fast. She's got to make her wish first, right, dear? Of course. Welcome to 25, Lindsay. No, 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 don't say it. It's too close to the big three, oh. I want to make a toast mm -hmm. to everybody who helped put together this wonderful party. To my dear brother, Joey. Enjoy that fat and sugar while you can. <laughs> <laughs> to Abby, I know we just met at work, but I know we're going to be the dearest of friends. And to my mom, thank you for not forgetting the date. <laughs> and for bringing the recyclable forks, because you know how much I care about the environment. And to my oldest friend, Dave. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. We are the same age. <laughs> Thank you for always being there for me. Cheers. 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 <laughs> you, uh, looking for Lynn's? Yeah. She went to her room. You finally gonna tell her how you feel? It's taking you so long. It's not that simple, Joey. If I tell her how I feel and she's not interested, I could lose our friendship forever. I lose the world to me. There you are. Hey. Uh, people are starting to go. Oh. What's that? OK, don't laugh, but it's my birthday wish list. <laughs> Every year on my birthday, I make a wish and I write it down. I'm sorry. I've known you since third grade, but I didn't know that. Well, it hasn't helped, though. None have come true. Yet. Well, I have to see it. May I? Fine. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. A puppy, fun and play dollhouse. My brother will get chicken pox. I was a vindictive kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lose weight. Um, I'll be rescued by Prince Charming. Billy Maddox will fall in love with me. That was from eighth grade. He was so cute. <laughs> Perfect vision. Mom and I will get back together. There's no way I'm getting my eyes lasered. And I mean, what kid doesn't wish for their parents to remarry? What? Nothing. Just your final wish. That'll find my true love. I mean, a girl can dream, can't she? Sure. So none of these wishes have come true. What does it matter? I mean, we're 25. The world is at our fingertips. I mean, one day I'm going to be a top executive at an environmental firm, and I'm going to be living in a big house with the man that I love. From now on, all of my wishes are going to come true. Miss Corwin. Miss Corwin. I need 20 copies by 11 and a refill by 10. <laughs> the day's barely started and Kate's already having caffeine withdrawal. Yeah. New screensaver? Yeah. It's from last week. It was our six month dating anniversary. Isn't he the best? Happy, I really feel like he's the one. He's my Mr. Right. I'm so excited about tonight. <laughs> Hello, Green Tree, can I help you? Oh, you have a great product for us. An indoor bathroom for dogs. Send us the information, I'll pass it along to Miss Moore. OK, have a nice day. I swear, one more green dog idea and I'm out of here. So you're going to get an answer on your project from Kate today, right? <sighs> Does it even matter? Of course it will matter. I mean, you just found a great product that's going to save the planet and get you a promotion. Abby, we've been assistants here for five years. Since when has one of our own moved up to a life not chained to these fake wooden desks? These aren't real wood. How about some cheering up? Let's get together tonight. <laughs> tonight? OK, all right. I'll play along. I'm going to my mom's house for dinner, and then I'm going to Kevin's. Play along with what? Abby, it's three days before my 30th birthday, and no one said anything about a party. And Kevin's acting super weird. He's totally up to something. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll be really embarrassed when Kevin jumps out from behind the couch and yells, <gasps> Kevin? <laughs> Who 
Lindsay. You're early. This isn't what it looks like. Okay, it is what it looks like. I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? Surprise? I guess that'll have to be my line. Dave Landry, Legal Eagle and Chauffeur at your service. Yeah. We're taking my car, right? You're still in the shop? Yeah, when isn't it? So, did, uh, did you get an answer on our solar panel project yet? The company's asking. I told them, as their lawyer, I can only do so much. No, not yet. I'm just sort of waiting for the right time, you know? Oh. Is, uh, everything all right? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? No, I'm not. Kevin and I broke up. Oh, Lindsay. He was cheating on me. I'm sorry. You want to talk about it? I'm just, I'm done with men. They're all dogs. Well, present company excluded. No, thank you. Well, you realize there are different kinds of dogs. Lap dogs, guard dogs, working dogs. You, however, always seem to end up with hound dogs. <laughs> You always know how to make me laugh. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Mom. You at the airport? Yes, don't worry. I will survive my birthday without you. I promise. Have fun in Mexico, OK? Go easy on the cheese nachos. I <laughs> love you. At least she still travels. Her and my dad rotate vacations at the time show every year. Still not talking, huh? Are you kidding? They're like polar opposites. Talk about dogs, it's like putting like a little fluffy poodle with a big slobbering St. Bernard. <laughs> Thanks for the call last night. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Why do you keep going out with these hot looking jerks? I don't know, is that a trick question? It's like you have this list of ingredients for your perfect guy. And guess what? It's the wrong list. Abby, this isn't helping. I need a cheerleader, not Dr. Phil. You need to start dating men who cherish you, not talk a great game and aren't worth your time. What about Dave? Dave? My Dave? No, we've known each other since we were little kids, but he's like my brother. I mean, he's an amazing guy. He's super sweet. I just don't. Feel it with him, you know? Or you won't let yourself feel it with him because it's too scary. Right there, on the There's left. There's nowhere to put it. <laughs> OK, all right. Now, use your leg strength, not your arms, all right? I can't do it. Yes, you can. You're I... almost there. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> See? <sighs> so, great birthday present, huh? I've been wanting to get you out here forever. You love the outdoors, you're sporty, and you never shy away from a challenge. Yeah, not one that involves a parachute. <laughs> Looking good, Lindsay, for your first time. Dave started me rock climbing a few months ago. I'm hooked. It's a great way to tone your legs. Right, sweetheart? Right. Hey, Dave. Dave Landry. Cliff. Man, long time. Yeah, I'm in town from New York for the week. Just uh, taking a break between meetings. Uh, Dave, I can't move. I was, uh, was thinking about you recently. Yeah? We need to talk. Call my office. We'll set something up. Sure thing. All right. Dave. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you OK? Yeah, I think I'm ready to get down now. Well, here's the fun part. You just push off, and Trisha will ease you down. I'm supposed to just let go? Yeah. Are you crazy? I'm not going to let go. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all about trust. Oh, I trust people. That's mm. not the problem. Not people. You, Lindsay. Trust yourself. OK? Oh, come on. Not today. Not today. <laughs> OK, <laughs> I'll help you out. Please. 
Here we go. Okay. All right. <gasps> oh. 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 <sighs> um. I'm Are you okay? okay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. You're okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just point me any direction away from Mount Everest over here. <laughs> oh. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me again. Sure. Dave, remember what we were talking about? It's been several months now. I'm ready to take this to the next level. You sure you can handle a harder climb? I'm not talking about rock climbing. Oh. Look, I, I know we talked about this. It's just... I thought my feelings would change. I'm not ready. Sorry. Well, Dave, you're a great guy. If and when you're ever ready, call me. So, rock climbing wasn't the best birthday present. Well, I knew not to get the Climb Every Mountain discount pack. So, right. Yeah. <sighs> Dave, I'm almost 30. I'm almost 30. Relax. You at least got 20 years before you start going gray. Although I think I see something on the left. Do you remember my birthday wish list? Sure. None of them have come true. Linz, you don't realize how lucky you are. You're beautiful, you're smart. Trust me, any guy would kill to be with you. Except Kevin, but he's a jerk. And don't forget about Brad. Oh, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you run out of options, there's always me. Dave. You'll always be my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what happened to Trish tonight? Where was she? Oh, um, I didn't want to dampen the mood, but we broke up. Well, you guys seem so happy. I know. And she's great, just not the right one for me. I am looking forward to a night in. Good book and a bowl of ice cream. Mm. Well, I could come over later if you want. We could do one of our uh, binge TV marathons. Drama, suspense, comedy. comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. What? It's about our... Uh... Maybe we should talk about this over dinner. OK, sure. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> you scared me. Gotcha. Guys. <laughs> Never trust the lawyer. <laughs> you know, one candle would have been enough. <laughs> OK. Wait. What happened to making a wish? You know, if none of them have come true by now, I kind of figure, what's the point? The point is, it never hurts. Wish for a promotion. I wished for that three years ago. What about a new car? I wished for that two years ago. And if I'd gotten the promotion, I could have afforded the car. <laughs> <laughs> Wish for winning the lottery. Or for something not even for you. Every year I enter the charity sweepstakes and I never win. And I already wished for the city to go solar and for Kern Park to be saved. So I'm not holding my breath. How about finding your perfect guy? <laughs> Last year I wished that I would find my Mr. Right before I turned 30. And I found my Mr. definitely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be something. Um... Hey, Wish King, here's your last chance. Yeah! <sighs> Happy birthday, Lindsay. May your final wish come true. Five pounds? Great, now the scale's broken. I'm coming, Dave! <gasps> Aww. Hey, 
I have no home. Please keep me. You're so cute, but I can't. Oh, brother. You're so cute. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I gonna do with you? I can't keep you. Lindsay Kerwin? Yeah. Let's sign here. Oh. What? <sighs> Each year in preschool, you said you wished for one of these. To the good old days, happy 30th, love, Becky. Well, believe it or not, I got the chicken pox. What? I can't be with anybody who didn't have it as a kid. I eat my roommate, so can I come crash here for a bit? Unbelievable, yeah. Come on in. When'd you get a dog? Right. Ten minutes ago. Isn't he the cutest? Hmm. It's this giant thing on the floor. Uh, what is this, Grand Central Station? Dave, finally you're here. You will not believe my morning. Cute dog. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, Joey. What uh, happened to your face? <laughs> is that a giant dollhouse? Yeah, OK, the couch is all yours. I'm late for work. Just here, be a good brother and you, watch wait, him wait. or her. I don't know. Please, just whatever you do, keep it away from the plants, OK? okay. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Oh. <clears throat> If I can be of any help with a puppy, you know how much I love dogs. <laughs> Thanks, you're the best. So, remember that dinner we talked about? Let's set a time. Sure, pick a night. Sorry I'm late, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Hey, birthday girl. Slept in? No, it's been a really bizarre morning. I hope this doesn't ruin it when Joe wants to see you. You've been with us for a while now. Admirable. Mr. Renshaw, despite what Kate may have said, I'm very happy here. And most of your product recommendations have scored extremely high. You heard about Margaret. She got the promotion? She was let go. I'm promoting you to development director. I got it. Oh, I got the promotion. Oh God. When do you start? Tomorrow. It's been such a crazy day. Well, you've been wanting this so badly, it's going to feel weird. One second. Okay. Hello? Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Happy birthday. Thank you. Where are you? I'm at the timeshare. Wait, you're in Mexico? Si, senorita. And guess who I ran into? Happy birthday, honey. Mom? Can you believe this? One wrong keystroke on my eye, Cal, and I run into your mother. <laughs> and guess what? We're having a really good time. It's like when we first met. And here's the kicker. We are going to start dating again. <laughs> Bye, honey. See you soon. Bye. Weird, it didn't burn. This is impossible. Oh. 
Where is it? Hello, new me. Oh, yes. Love bacon. You just love bacon. Ta da! What's up? Hey, yours. <clears throat> Wait, something, something's different. Really? You think so? Yeah, you look great. What, did you lose some pounds and buy contacts? No, I didn't do either. They're wishes that came true. Okay, what? Okay, I know it doesn't it doesn't even really make sense to me, but I made this wish at my party, and it was a big one. Really, really big one. So you wish to lose some weight and get contacts? No, Joey, I'm not <clears throat> wearing contacts. I wish for all of my birthday wishes to come true. And guess what? Okay, now you're scaring me. Okay, it, first it was the puppy, and then it was my favorite dollhouse with the matching car, and then you got chicken pox, which I wished for when you were seven. Wait, that was you? And then I got a promotion, and mom and dad started talking to each other again. Yeah, I know they called, but it doesn't mean they're just back to And then my eighth grade crush calls me, like, out of the blue. I lose five pounds, and I have perfect vision. Hold on, wait. Did you at any point wish for a cute girl for me? Joey, seriously, this is not a coincidence. Everything I've ever wished for is coming true in a matter of days. Do you know what this means? Nope, but I feel like you're worth to tell me. I'm about to be a top executive at Green Tree and find my Mr. Right. Mm, okay. Do you have a little too much to drink at your party? Look, Lindsay, I'm sure there's an explanation for all this. Okay, what, you really, you really think your dream guy is just gonna walk up and ring the doorbell? Oh, that, could, that could be anything. That's it, that could be him, that could be him. What do I do? I don't answer the door, seems logical. Hey, Lindsay. Ready for work? Oh, hi, Dave. Yeah, it's just you. Come on in. Hold on, hold on, Lindsay. Maybe, maybe there is something to this. Something to what? What are you talking about? <laughs> just, she's just having a little mental breakdown, that's all. She thinks that all of her birthday wishes are suddenly coming true. Really? Mm -hmm. Did you rub a lamp or something? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm not crazy. Where are your glasses? Exactly, exactly. See, any second, another one of my wishes could come true. OK. Hello. Are you Lindsay Corwin? Yeah. I'm from Omni Charity Sweepstakes. You're listed as having entered our contest many times in the past. Yeah, just about every year. Well, this year, your generosity has paid off. You're our grand prize double winner. <laughs> Nine. What? You're kidding. Let me officially present you with the keys to your brand new luxury car. <gasps> oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're thank welcome. you. But wait, there's one more prize. That car is gonna look right at home, parked in front of your very own dream house. Oh my god. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What? This is my dream house. I got my dream house. You okay? Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I so can't wait for my birthday. Good morning, Miss Corwin. Good morning. Right this way. <sighs> Claudia, get me all my files on my photovoltaic project. If I sell this, executive dining room, here I come. <laughs> car was going to hit you. Thank you. You just saved my life. But who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Prince Charming. Fix your shot. Let's roll camera. Come on, let's go! Otherwise known as the denture cream guy. 
I'm truly honored. What is your name? I'm Lindsay. Lindsay, nice to meet you. Hi. I just realized you're another one of my wishes. Excuse me? I, I made, it's my birthday, and I made all these wishes, and now every single one is coming true. <laughs> it's your birthday? Yeah. Oh, may I give you a birthday kiss then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Both sides. Wow. It's 14, it's 14, it's 14. <laughs> Got the address. I don't want to be late. So you actually believe in the birthday wish fairy? Of course not, but they're all on the list. Checked off 15 so far. And all your wishes are just happening. How do you suddenly explain me not needing glasses? I don't know. I mean, vision can improve with, with exercise. I didn't go to the eye gym. It just happened. And how do you explain me suddenly just dropping five pounds? Maybe you're having some kind of hormonal reaction? <laughs> to turning 30? Look, I started that list with my mom when I was five, and there's 10 still left on there. Some of them are pretty crazy. Like, how am I going to become the first female president? Good point. I'll call the birthday fairy. How does this work exactly? Like, is the next guy I meet going to be Mr. Wright? And how am I going to know if he's the one? Uh, Lindsay, are you hearing yourself? Maybe it's Billy Maddox. We've been IMing. I'm going to breakfast with him. Billy from McKinley? Yeah, he just called me out of the blue. Explain that, Mr. Wish Destroyer. And explain that. Wow. Hello there. You must be Lindsay, our Omni Sweepstakes winner. <laughs> it's delighted to finally meet you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm the head of PR for Omni. Is this your husband? Uh, no, oh, no, this is my friend, Dave. Ah, oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Why don't we go in and have a look at your new house? <laughs> OK. <laughs> You have won the Virginian. <laughs> One of several styles in the Wellington Estates. Five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a nine seat home theater, and a deluxe great room. Wow, this Virginian sure knew how to live. <laughs> yeah, with a huge family and a bunch of servants. Lindsay, are you sure this is a little too- Does this all come furnished? You just have to have the love. Mm. And here is your grand gourmet chef's kitchen. All of the top of the line appliances. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. If only you knew how to cook. Oh, doesn't matter, because with this kitchen, I'm the next Julia Child. Mm. Mm. And feast your eyes on your new luxury top of the line SUV. Oh, I can't drive that. <laughs> I work for one of the top environmental firms in the city. That's a, that's a gas guzzling monster car. It probably gets 10 miles a gallon downhill. <laughs> well, you can't return uh, the prizes, but there's no reason why you can't sell it. Hey, Joey, pick up. Uh, can I come sleep at my new mansion tonight? It's 475 Lakeview Terrace. The key's under the mat. Oh, bring the puppy. Okay, okay, bye. Lindsay Corwin. Billy. Wow. <laughs> Look at you. Now, uh, sit. Oh, sit. thanks. Wow. You look great. Oh, come on. But you. You haven't changed a bit. I mean, you were pretty then, but now. <laughs> I never thought that you even noticed me. Are you kidding? I, I couldn't keep my eyes off of you. Yeah, I really couldn't believe my luck when I found you on the internet. I've been thinking about you a lot. Wow, not kidding. So you're a doctor? Podiatrist. Oh. Yeah, if you got a problem with your feet, I'm happy to take a look. Oh, no, I, they're good, eh? They're fine. Okay. They're great, yeah. I haven't married. Oh. 
Still hanging out with the guys from McKinley. You remember Perkins, uh, big glasses. Squeaky voice. Yeah. Bellberg always told those knock-knock jokes. Yeah, they've changed a lot, huh? No, why? Oh, I... What about you? Single? Married? I'm single. Um, I work at Green Tree. It's an environmental development company. I actually just got promoted to director. Fantastic. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. So, this is so funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Lindsay, I, I gotta be honest. I've been thinking about you a lot. Hey, you said that. And I know we didn't talk a lot back then, but I always felt that there was something there. I, I felt it. That's funny, because I don't really remember ever talking. The truth is, I know it's been years, but the second that you came through that door and I saw you, I felt like I was in the eighth grade all over again. I mean, the feeling is still there. You know, Billy, you know how sometimes people can sort of create a fantasy about another person? Oh, yeah. You don't really know me, so how can you have feelings for me? <sighs> yeah, I thought this might happen. I shouldn't have said anything. I am such an idiot. I, you, you probably hate me. No, no, I don't hate you, Billy, no. You don't? No. So you, f you feel it too. Lindsay, this, this could really be uh, amazing. I, I think we should get together again uh, tonight. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's late. It's so late. Oh, I gotta go. I'm so sorry. I gotta go. We haven't even ordered. I know. I'm so sorry. I have an early meeting and I'm late. And But it was really good to see you again, Billy. How's the high school reunion going? I mean, he was so cool in the eighth grade. The problem is, he's still in the eighth grade. And I couldn't meet Mr. Wright if he hit me with a 10-foot pole. I'll be there in 15 minutes. I'll be cool, won't No. Oh, no, that's what he'll... He's coming towards the parking lot. If he sees me in this car, I am dead. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. Pretty hard to miss in that tank. Okay, you know, go ahead, steal my spot. You people think you own the world. Us people, you think that you know me because of the car that I drive? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I do. I think material objects make you happy, status is more important than anything to you, and um, you obviously don't give a hoot about the environment. Wow, that actually could not be more of a dead wrong statement. No? Let me try you. Okay. Uh, you only shop at designer stores, you way overpay for your haircuts, and you drive a hybrid because you want people to think you're into the environment, but clearly you aren't at all. Wow. Yeah. That's two out of three. Not bad. Hmm. Oh, hey. Give me a call next time you find a spot you can't actually fit into. Uh, I can fit. Oh, okay. Good luck. Paper. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is fantastic. And this is all the photovoltaic information you requested. So what's all this then? Well, half of it is getting you caught up with our current products. The rest is the usual stuff, budget, reports, analysis. Do I have to read it all? By 11 a.m., staff meeting. Welcome to management. Mm -hmm. And on page five of the spreadsheet, you'll find profit projections. <clears throat> okay, moving on to new projects. Every division is posted a year over year gain. We project more to come. As per the memo, Mr. Woodhill will be touring the office today with some Wall Street men and a big investor. If we go public, we have to deliver big time. Kate, you're going to be making the product recommendation to Mr. Woodhill on Friday. Okay, good. So. <laughs> uh, you 
don't need to raise your hand. Oh, um, I just wanted to say that I have an incredible project that I would like to present as well. It's um, a breakthrough solar technology that will slash energy costs. I'm sorry, but it's way too late to add another presentation. The schedule is already set. You can pitch in six months. Okay, so moving on to financial Excuse reports. me, Frank. Sorry to intrude. My apologies, everyone. I'll just be a couple of minutes. I want you all to meet one of our newest investors who's visiting us from Boston. Everyone, meet Reed Paulson. Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm sorry to interrupt. I told Barry that uh, I'm not just a silent investor. I'm also trying to be an invisible one. So carry on. Keep up the good work. Carry on. Nonsense, nonsense. I want you to meet the kind of people who are keeping Green Tree number one. This is Jared McClintock in accounting. Lee Parsons, research. Hi. Kate Moore, director of new projects. Hi, Kate. Across from her is our newest director. At least I think it is. <laughs> yes, that's Lindsay Corwin. I actually think that we have met. Uh, weren't you the one who was driving that big? Yeah. Uh... Horrible loner car is awful. This is a loner. Well, there'll be plenty of time later on to meet the others. Frank, I'll let you get back to your meeting. Mr. Woodhead, one moment. Um, I know that your schedule is already set for Friday's presentations, but I have something incredible that you have to see. Well, that's wonderful. I like someone with passion, but I have no time. So come to me on the next round. Mr. Woodhill, with all due respect, this can't wait. This company and our environment can't wait. Um, Green Tree needs bold, forward-thinking ventures in keeping with your forward-thinking agenda to support products that will sustain our environment for centuries to come. And I can show you that on Friday. You won't regret it. Well, I don't take well to people trying to force something down my throat. <clears> throat> Unless it's for a good cause. Frank, make some time on Friday, one. So, Corwin, I want a preview of that presentation in my office tomorrow morning. No problem, yeah. Okay, meeting adjourned. All right. Dave, I did it, we got the pitch. Woo! It's in two days, can you make it? Can I make it? This is great news, of course I can make it. Oh, my gosh, okay, can you meet me? I'm gonna go for lunch, we have so much prep to do. Shoot, I can't. I got an appointment. Um, okay, what if you come over to the new house tonight after work? Perfect. In fact, let's make this our dinner. We can do our work and then talk afterwards. I'll bring something amazing. Don't you lift a finger. You are the best. <sighs> Dave, I really think that this could change things for us. I think you're right. Bye. Driving environmentalist. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Like I said, it's not my car. No, but it looked like you were having a good time driving it. No, it is a genuine gas guzzling, carbon spewing monster car. I won it in a contest, and I'm going to sell it. And you were just giving a little test drive. I care deeply about the environment. It's really nice to see you again. Well, that makes two of us. Do you want to talk some more about this? Maybe over lunch. I think my table just opened up. <laughs> well, it just all started with one shop in the heart of Boston, and uh, it just spread like wildfire. We must have been among the first environmentally conscious dry cleaning businesses, and so before I knew it, all of a sudden, it's a $70 million business. Yeah, which, of course, gave us a little freedom other things like Green Tree and uh, well I'm here for the opening of the new headquarters of a charity that I support. So you were born in Boston? Oh yeah. I just love the town, you know how it's how it's modern but yet it's also kept its its history, you know. How about you? Uh yeah, I was born right here in a city that's losing all of its history uh, because we tear down the beautiful buildings and put up new ones. Some people call that progress. Yeah, I mean, progress is great, as long as you don't destroy all the beauty and the charm in the process. Please tell me you're not married. Or that you have an incurable disease or 24-hour memory loss or something like that. What's your name again? <laughs> okay. Listen, you know that charity that I mentioned? Well, they have their opening night gala tonight, and I don't want to be presumptuous, but I would love it if you'd be my date. <laughs> Lindsay? 
This is a surprise. I was just passing by and saw you here. Do you mind if I have a seat? Uh, kind of. Hi, Billy Maddox. Yeah, hi, Reed Paulson. So, how do you two know each other? Business associates. Well, it's nice to meet you. Lindsay and I go way back. Billy and I are old school friends. We haven't seen each other in a long time. And suddenly we got back together and boom. Like no time had passed. That spark was still there, right, hon? Billy, what are you talking about? Are you two involved? <laughs> uh, all I can say is that we hit it off the second we saw each other again. I mean, it was a surprise for both of us. Billy, we are not involved. Yet. <laughs> we, uh, I mean, we can't rush this. We gotta let it grow at its own pace. Okay. I think I've gotten in between something here. I'm gonna go, all right? Listen, this should be enough to cover the lunch. Uh, Billy, it was great to have met you. And Lindsay, thank you so much for Wait, a wonderful lunch. This is not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. It's nice to meet you too, Reed. Okay. I don't know what your problem is, but there is nothing going on between us. Do I make myself clear? Do you understand that? And when you calm down, I think oh. that you are going, going to have second thoughts about that. Reed. Reed, wait. I am. No, just wait. Let me guess, you want him to charity auction? No, th no, let me explain. I have not seen that guy since middle school. He's completely insane. There's absolutely uh -huh. nothing going on between us. He, I think he followed me into the restaurant. Yeah? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, Do you have yourself a stalker? Are you gonna be okay? I think he's harmless. Okay, well, that's good. Listen, I just don't want to get in the middle of something, like, with you and your boyfriend or anything. No, no, no. Billy is the last person that I would date, ever. And the answer to your question is yes. Yeah. Yes. About tonight. I would love to. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm going to send a car around around 7 o'clock. I'll have my assistant call your office. Great. Good. Yeah. Dave, uh, um... I made plans with my friend Dave tonight. Uh, he's the lawyer that's representing the project I'm pitching, and we have oh, um, so much work to do. Well, listen, I'm leaving tomorrow, and I really, really want to see you again. So why don't you just bring him along, come for an hour, please? All right, you're on. You're crazy, Joey. It's freezing out here. Man, this is the life. You, uh, you stay for dinner? I am. In fact, I picked up a feast from Lindsay's favorite spot. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ah, this is the night, Joey. Finally gonna do it. I'm gonna tell her how I really feel. That's awesome. I mean, it's about time, but... <laughs> she's, uh... She's finally ready to hear it. I hope so. I mean, we're best friends. We share everything. We love spending time together. I just hope she feels the same way. What if I name you Whiskers? <laughs> no, what about Mr. Wish? Mr. Wishy. Mm. I got some great pasta, a little wine, some candles. What do you think? Hey, Dave. Oh, hey. Hey, Joey. Are you feeling better? Still uh, recovering, so I might need to stay here a couple more nights if that's cool. Sure, but are those your clothes lying on the floor near the stairs? Sorry, sweetie. Those are mine. Dad, hi, what are you doing here? Where's Mom? Before I ran into her at the timeshare, I was going to move into a new apartment. Mm -hmm. But then we decided that I should um, move in with her. Big mistake. We had a little fight. Can I stay here a couple of days? 
What is the whole family just moving in now? Sure, just pick up after yourself, okay? Promise, promise. You won't even know I'm here. <laughs> okay, Dave, there's been a bunch of change of plans for tonight. Can you come upstairs? Sure, sure. Okay, thanks. I've been invited to this big gala by one of the investors in Green Tree, and I told him I was busy tonight, but he said to just come by for an hour and to bring you two so we can eat and then we can do our work after. Oh, you go. Are you sure? You gotta meet him. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fine. I got a lot of work to do on the presentation. Uh, I'll take everything over to my place. We'll uh, eat there, go over work when you get back. <sighs> wow. I have had my eye on this dress and these shoes and that purse for a long time, but they were always just wishes. Till now. You know, I thought you didn't like getting all dressed up. Well, usually I don't, but tonight I thought, why not just Go for it, you know? Can you help me with the zipper? Yeah, sure. Thanks. What, does this make me look fat? No. No, you look beautiful. Oh, it's the dress. It's amazing. It's not the dress. Um, do you, do you, did you get it? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go for an hour and then I'll meet you at your place. Yeah, sure. Have fun tonight. I swear. Not one historic building was torn down for this. <laughs> no, it's it's beautiful. Speaking of which, you, you look stunning. Thank you so much for coming. Well, you look wonderful, too. Thank you for inviting me. Hey, where's your friend? Oh, he had some work to do, and he wasn't really in the mood to go to a big party. You know what? Neither am I. Why don't you let me show you the best part about this building? <laughs> Wow, green terrace. It's a little chilly, but it's very oh, impressive. Want my jacket? No. So families can come up here. They can enjoy an oasis right in the heart of the city. I would love to work at a place like this. Well, that's the idea. You know, I think the way that we experience our environment it affects every single aspect of our lives. What's your favorite design? I don't know. The perfect shoe? Mm -hmm. No. An orchid? Actually, years ago, Martin's Jewelers downtown, they made this heart-shaped necklace and just took my breath away. Mm. Even as a kid, I wish I had it. What about you? Oh, I got a long list of them. <laughs> I love the sleek lines of a Lamborghini, playfulness of Disney Hall, poetry of a Frank Lloyd Wright house. I just love things with curves and intelligence, beauty. Reed, come back downstairs. Everyone's asking for you. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate everything you've done for the foundation. Thanks for bringing out your lovely wife. Are you up for a dance? I'd love to. Great. Well, you're a 30 year old. Oh. I'm sorry, I just had my birthday. I'm a little bit sensitive. No need to. I hope all your wishes came true. It's funny you should say that. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think that a person's wishes can come true? Well, I think that sometimes something can suddenly appear. It feels like magic. Like when two people meet. Anything can happen, right? Well, Cinderella, I think you've definitely stayed past your hour. I wouldn't want to turn into an organic pumpkin. 
call you a limo. What? Do I have something in my teeth? No, no, I'm just looking. I'm making my own wish. More than okay. What? Oh, you're married, aren't you? You're married. No, 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 no. It's nothing like that at all. It's just that I have to be on a plane tomorrow to Boston. And then after that, I go to Indonesia to close a deal, and I don't know when I'm going to be back. Can you just stay for one more day? Mm. Just until after the presentation? I will cook you an amazing home cooked meal at my house tomorrow oh. night. Very tempting. I can stay one more night. Thank you. I think you gotta go. You got a lot of work to do. Mm. Lindsay. Happy birthday. there in a sec. Hey. Hey, I am so sorry that I'm late. Oh, no worries. What are you doing? You know how we collect all this stuff from the past and never look at it? Oh. Oh, the draft's on the table. Oh, thanks. It's almost done. Just need to print it out. It's in great shape. All the testings and material protocols are laid out, so as long as they're followed, those solar panels can't be beat. <laughs> When will this become profitable? Uh, it's on page three. We're estimating five years. Won't bring a quick return, just a solid one. You did such a great job on this. Thanks. Oh, uh, you hungry? I got lots of food. Oh, wow. It looks so nice. Yeah, I'm actually starving. Hmm. So, how was the party? It was nice. The building was beautiful. And? And? Okay, I know you don't believe in this, but I think I got another one of my wishes. Why not? You're on a roll. <laughs> Which one was it this time? My 29th. You mean? Yeah. That green tree investor, his name is Reed Paulson, and he's so smart, and he's funny, and he really cares about the environment. I know it's, it sounds so crazy, but I really think that he could be Mr. Right. <sighs> Lindsay, that's, um, that's amazing. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> mm. Now that is how real Italians Eat pasta. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna miss slurping together if I move. Move? What are you talking about? You know that guy I ran into rock climbing? Uh, Cliff? Mm -hmm. He's an old attorney friend of mine. And uh, well, we had lunch, he offered me a job in his New York office. I can still be involved in a project. Just um, be leaving here for good. Wow. So what did you say? Then I didn't think about it, that I uh, had to see about something here first. That's wonderful. I just hate to see you go. I got to show you these photos. <laughs> uh, this is of me and you at my 10th birthday. <laughs> OK, and this is you and me in your backyard. You know, it's so funny. All these old photos of me have you in them. Mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this one? <laughs> Abby took it. She takes the best photos of us. I know. She always says we should be a couple. <laughs> it's funny. You, uh, you ever thought about it? What? Us as a couple? I mean, <laughs> we've grown up together. It's like we're practically related. 
I mean, you feel the same way, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so we're finally having our dinner. What did you want to talk to me about? Well, um... You know, it's nothing. I have to show you this last photo. It's of you. It's my all-time favorite. I took it. <laughs> wow. I was about 18 here, I think. Hmm. I wonder what I wished for that year. So this wish then, they always turn out the way you want them? No, not all of them. But the ones that do are pretty great. Things were really different back then. You didn't need any wishes to make you happy. I'm sorry, sir. I haven't seen her. Oh, she's here. Good morning, Miss Carwin. Hi. Mr. Renshaw called. Do you remember your meeting with him? It started five minutes ago. Come on in. <laughs> Hello, Lindsay. Nice to see you again. Mr. Woodhill. Hi, I wasn't expecting to see you. I thought we were just reviewing the project. Have a seat. Oh, Lindsay, I asked Frank to do a bit of digging about you. I reviewed all the products he submitted over the years. 83% of them went on to success either here or elsewhere. You know, Lindsay, to truly go green, you need that other green, profits. You can't change the environment without money. What Wall Street needs to see is a quick return on their investment. How does your project fit the bill? Well, how quickly do you mean? No, oh, one, two years tops. Corporate world is very tough right now. It's all about profits now, not down the line. So, well, what do you say? Um. You come through tomorrow, your future will be plenty green here at Green Tree. In fact, I'll be prepared to offer you another promotion. Really? To senior director? How about president of our new products division? Uh, uh -huh. It would make you Green Tree's first female president. How's that sound? Like a wish come true. <laughs> <laughs> Quick return. Reed's coming over, and tonight is going to be perfect. Okay, can you go set the table? Yeah. Dad! I am having company over, and they're going to think I'm a total slob. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. No worries. I'll do this. If there's one thing I know how to do is set a table. <laughs> uh, that dress is a little tight, huh? Dad. Stuff with a kitchen like this cooking should be a snack. Okay. What are we making? OK, here we go. Coco ve. Uh, first pear, then julienne the vegetables. What does that mean? Mm, no idea. I'm like a microwave guy. OK, just, let's just go to the next step. Yeah. Take the chicken parts and cook in a Dutch oven. Is that a Dutch oven? I don't know. It looks American, you know? Real sturdy. What? Look at these early. What am I going to do? What do I do? There is a pizza place, like, right next door. No, no, no. Gourmet kitchen. Can you order me some pasta? Just I don't know, just make okay. it romantic. Can I trust you, please? Sure. Just order something yeah, romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's easy. Hey. Hey, Dave, what are you doing here? I guess you didn't get my text. I was printing out copies of the report. My, my printer jammed. I was hoping I could use yours. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, come on in. Thanks. Oh, you're going out. You know, I can just go to a coffee place. No, no, I'm staying in. You look fantastic. Yeah. 
Thank you. Wait, do you have company coming? I don't want to be in the way. No, you're not. It's the guy I was telling you about, Reed. Mr. Wright. Yeah, he's gonna come out of town, so I thought he might like a home-cooked meal, but now it's gonna be a home-warmed-up meal from takeout. Ah, hey, little guy. Mm. Oh, aren't you just the cutest little thing? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Oh. Can you take him upstairs with you? The printer's in the second room on the left, and then when you're done, I'll introduce you to Reed. Sounds great. You wanna go upstairs? You wanna go upstairs? Okay, we're going upstairs. Okay, let's go. Come to apologize. No, Billy, no, no, not now. I was out of line before. Okay, okay. Apology accepted. Bye. Look, I feel really bad about this. Can I just come in and talk about it? Oh, shoot. Just come inside. Come, come, come inside. Come inside. Joey! Now is a really bad time, okay? Joey, hey, um, do you remember Hi. Billy from McKinley? Do you guys remember each other? Well, why don't you go up into your room and you guys can play together? Yeah, okay, it'll be fun, it'll be fun, it'll be fun. You guys have a lot in common. Yeah, home. we got it, let's go. I'll be down. No, no, don't do that. Okay, okay. Ooh. Hey. Hi. Wow, that is a stunning dress. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you, come in. Thanks. Yeah. Welcome. Find the place okay? Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Oh, hey. Uh -huh. Hey, um, could you, could you grab? He's just showing you that he likes you, he's so cute. Yeah, well, he'd be cuter in your arms. Oh, hey. Oh, you want me to get him? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come here. Oh. Thank you. It's a beautiful house. Oh, thank you. It's big. You live here by yourself? All by my lonesome. Wow. I love what you've done with this place. The layout is gorgeous, and the decor it says a lot about you. Oh, well, she's not exactly. And this food, oh, it's to die for. Thank you. I love a woman who can cook. <laughs> well, I had a little help. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I heard that's how the real Italians do it. You know, my mother used to say, if it doesn't fit in your mouth, it goes back on the plate. Yo, Linz, this guy's actually unreal at Call of Duty. He's got to be some sort of, like, Call of Duty wizard. I mean, he sweats more than you'd think, but I'm not. I'm sorry, that's my brother. He's staying here temporarily, and he's got a friend over, and it's just a, it's a long story. How's the pitch going? Well, I found out today that Woodhove really needs the project to turn a profit in one to two years, and the way we have it set up now is three to five years. Can I look at the specs? Yeah, you don't mind? No, 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 let's go. Uh, I think they're right here, in my purse right here. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, with a couple simple adjustments, we can get this done. But I don't want to do anything to compromise the project. Listen, you can have the perfect product, but it won't do the environment any good unless it gets funded. Sometimes a few minor tweaks is what it takes to get a project launched. OK. Have a look at these notes later. It's a no-brainer. Woodhill will be very impressed. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's great. But you know what? I don't want to talk shop tonight. I want to talk about you. Oh. I do. I want to hear what it's like to be the king of dry cleaning. No, I would. I would. I really would. I spend more time traveling and glad handing than I do doing what I really love to do, which is creating new companies and nurturing companies that help the environment. You know what the shame is? That I don't have anyone to share it with. Lindsay, would you come to Boston with me tomorrow after the presentation? Um, well. Listen, I, I don't want to rush things. I just think it'd be a really good opportunity for us to get to know each other a little more. It's only for the weekend. I'd show you around the town. We catch a Red Sox game. I will have you back by Sunday night, I promise. Let me think about it. Sure. Time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you know, at the party, we barely got any time to dance. May I? Of course. I would love that. <sighs> this is really nice. Am I allowed to say that? Yes, of course. Okay. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are a really amazing woman. You know that, right? Why? Well, because you're talented. You live very well. You're going places at a big corporation. Rumor has it. You're soon to be division president. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and you're through it all. You're just so humble and honest. That's what people call me. Honest Lindsay. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just sometimes I like to lead. Okay. Okay, I'm done leading now. Actually, there's part of my project that I really wanted to show you, but it's in the other room. So I'm just gonna go and okay. get it, and you can just stay here and sit. Can I turn? Billy. You're with him? How could you? What your problem is, we need some serious help. And we're meant to be together. Billy, do not take one more step. I'm warning you. But I love you. What? I finished the handouts. Dave Landry from McKinley? Dave, you remember Billy Maddox? Sure. Uh, Billy, what are you doing here? No, don't, no, don't tell me. You're dating Lindsay, too. What? You little... Oh, stop! Lindsay, you all right? <sighs> yeah. Uh, what's going on here? Isn't it obvious? Lindsay's three-timing us. No. I was so wrong about you. You got a lot of growing up to do. And you are? Oh, Reed, yeah, I was gonna introduce you. This is Dave Landry. He's... A friend. Yeah. Just a good friend. Mm -hmm. I finished the handouts. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Dave, Dave, wait. What a sauce. I love that restaurant. Hello. <sighs> what restaurant? Why are all these people in your house? Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. You say that a lot. Look, I don't know what's going on here, and I just think that maybe tonight was not the best night for me to come over. Um, you, got a, no. you got a big presentation tomorrow, and I want to thank you for your dinner. I'll see you in the office. Yes. And as you can see, my five-year projection plan steadily increases with each year, year five. Hey. Hey. Thanks again for your help last night. I'm sorry it was so crazy. Yeah, it was. Are you okay? Fine. Kate's just wrapping up, and by the looks of things, it's not going great. You got a bill shot here. Yeah. I just want to talk to you about the pitch because I made a few small changes. Sure, it'll be okay. Lindsay, you're up. Reed, this is Dave from last night. He, Dave represents PMI. Hey, Dave. How are you? Reed, can I talk to you for just one second? Sure. Just one second. Yeah. So, um, I'm sorry that everything was so crazy last night. I'm sure that that was the last of Billy, and Dave was just there working on the project, and hopefully my father and my brother will be moving out soon, so I'm sorry. Well, you are full of surprises. I should have just told you what was going on. It's okay. Knock him down in there. Okay. Miss Corwin. Yes. We're waiting. All right. Good luck. Hello. Can you hold this? Thank you so much, Mr. Woodhill, for giving us the opportunity to speak today. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future of solar energy. Simple solar cells don't convert much electricity, but with PMI's new design, that's about to change. So in conclusion, an efficient design and cutting edge technology are clearly what set these solar panels apart from the pack. But a very wise person once told me that to really go green, you need the other green, which is profit. So by shortening the testing period and using dichromium panels instead of the more costly ones, this project will have a turnaround in not three to five years, but in just under one. These panels will not only save energy and help the environment, but they will quickly increase Green Tree's bottom line, placing them at the forefront of investment companies for years to come. Thank you. Congratulations, Lindsay. Or should I say Ms. President? It has a nice ring to it. Yes, it does. Yeah. Congratulations, Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you. I'd say we'll be up with you. Very Knocked it out of the park. Congratulations. Thank you. Profitable, smart, just what Green Tree needs. Mm -hmm. You're in the big leagues now. With your help. Oh, hey. I, uh, I was gonna give you this last night, but open it. It's the one from Martin's. Yep. It's the one I wished for. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Are you staying for Boston? Hmm? I'll pick you up this afternoon and go to the airport? Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, just one second. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Dave. Dave, what's wrong? You don't know? A profit in under a year? A change in the entire testings and materials protocol? Well, they need a quick return. It's the only way to get the project funded, and it doesn't compromise the product. Yeah? Says who? Mr. Wright? Well, what good will these solar panels do if they never see the light of day? Do you understand that? All I understand is you become everything you wish for. A corporate follower cares more about profits and looking good for guys in flashy suits than what's really important in life. Hope they make you happy. Dave, wait. You know, if you just trusted yourself more, you wouldn't have to wish for everything. But since you're so good with wishes, wish me luck. With what? I thought you were the one, Lindsay. I could never say anything because our friendship meant everything to me. I tried, I tried dating other women. I couldn't shake the feelings I have for you, feelings I will always have but I've been in love with someone too blind or too scared to even see it. Dave. I'm moving on with my life now, Lindsay. I've got something very important to do. What are you doing? I just, I, I assumed you'd have good news, so I invited a few people over to celebrate. A uh -huh, few people? Be very low key. You will barely notice that there's a bunch of people here. Oh, also the mail came, by the way. There's something from the, uh, the IRS. Oh. The taxes on my winnings, they're, they're huge. The only way I can afford to live in this house is if I sell it. Okay, you're, you're kidding, right? No, I'm not. It's not just the taxes, Joey. It's, this house is huge, it's too big. I get lost going to the bathroom. Totally, totally. Uh, I gotta take this out to the van. They're good, they're good, I promise. Hey, sorry, where are we at?
Just remember, you don't need wishes to make you happy. You've already got everything you need. Happy birthday, Dave. Amazing what you can get with bonus miles these days. It's so pretty. Now, I know it's a little late, but I just wanted to make sure that this was a birthday that you'd never forget. Oh, well, there's no chance of that. Ta-da. <laughs> well, make a wish. <sighs> I can't. They've all come true. <laughs> wow. Uh, you are one lucky lady. I, there's not many people who can say that. <laughs> I am lucky, aren't I? My good friend told me that once. My best friend. Wait a minute. What? Wait, how could I be so stupid? I mean, he's been there all alone. What is? The last wish. To find my true love. Uh, hang on a second, Lindsay. Reed, Reed, you are really amazing, and you're smart, and you're talented, and you're so successful. It's just headed where I think it's headed. But I can't go with you. Huh? I know this is going to sound really strange, but... You're everything I ever wished for in a guy. And? And I've been wishing for the wrong guy. Thank you for three wonderful days, but I'm sorry, Reed, I have to go. Yeah. Oh, and can you tell Woodhill he has one less executive at Green Tree? What? Why? Profits are great, but not when they come before doing the right thing. I made a really big mistake back there, and I'll be damned if I make another one. Goodbye, Reed. Where are you going? To the guy I never wished for. You know, back in New York, this has become my weekly ritual. Yeah? So, you thought about my offer? I have, and I've come to a decision. Tell you what, let's climb first. You ready? I'll be there in a minute. Is something wrong? What happened? No, no, nothing like that. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm quitting my job. I got blinded by the wrong green, and the corporate world wasn't for me. It never was. And I just said goodbye to Reed. What are you, what are you saying? That I'm an idiot. I mean, you were right. I don't need wishes to make me happy. Like, getting a job promotion or losing weight, it doesn't mean anything. And that big house, not me. <sighs> But I finally realized that I've had everything all along, and I just didn't realize it. I didn't see it. And what's worse is I didn't see you. Dave, you're the one that's always there for me, and you're the one that I go to when I need help. You're the one that I can be me with, and I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to realize it, but you were my Mr. Right. You always have been. Dave, please don't go to New York. Lindsay, you suddenly have this epiphany? I mean, just like that? I finally decided to move on with my life. What do you expect me to say? I'm sorry. Good to go? Dave? Yeah. Good to climb.
Cliff, I need to tell you what I decided. Cliff? Lindsay? What are you doing? Dave. Lindsay, you are way higher than you were before. Oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> I know. Just let me say something, okay? Yeah. I want us to be together forever. And you were right about everything. I'm ready to climb mountains for you. Literally. Please say something. This could be scary for you. You ready to let go? I don't know, but I am ready to start trusting myself. Okay, Wish King, take that! Landry, huh? Really? I always thought I kind of pictured you with Billy Maddox. I thought you guys had fireworks together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I think you and Dave are going to be really happy. Thank you. Just wish I could say the same for uh, for mom and dad. I think they are happy. Hey, you think I could get a moment with my bride? Yeah. Right, I guess. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? So, you're still willing to climb mountains for me? Yeah, just as long as they're very, very small mountains. <laughs> Under six feet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I found this on the table. What do you, uh, what do you want me to do with it? Oh, um, open it. Hope you have a joyful life together. May all your wishes come true. It's not signed. I know exactly where this goes. Let's go. Who wants to dance? Woo! Yeah.